Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video we are going to create a program that converts an image to a pencil sketch. Now currently I am using an IDE called PyCharm and this is where I will be writing this program. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a description for the program and I'm going to do that in comments. So I'm going to put description here and then I'm going to put this program converts an image to a pencil sketch. Okay. Next, I'm going to import the library that I plan on using for the program. So I'm going to import CV2. And if you don't have that library already, you can install the package. And in order to do that, you have to type, let's see, you'd have to type pip install open CV dash Python into your command prompt and if you're using an ID like PyCharm you may need to install it using PyCharm okay alright so let's go ahead and continue so hopefully you have all that set up the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the image location and the image file name okay so let me make sure I'm spelling the correctly. All right, so there we go. Get the image location and the image file name. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called img underscore location, which will be short for image location. And the image that I want is located on my desktop. So I'm going to put in C, then colon slash users slash computer science slash desktop slash okay and then I'm gonna create a variable called file name and this is where I will store the name of the file so the name of the file is puppy dot jpg on my desktop alright now I want to read in the image so I'm going to create a variable called img, which will be short for image. And I'm going to set this equal to cv2.imread. And then I'm going to put img underscore location plus the file name. Okay. And then I want to show the image. So just type cv2.imshow. And we're going to give the window a name. So I'm going to put original image. And then we need to give it the image. So that's IMG. And let's run this. Okay. All right. So you may or may not have seen it flash on the screen, but it did. And the reason why is because I didn't tell it to wait after showing on the screen. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just type cv2 dot wait key and then input the value zero and let's rerun this. Okay, and now we can see the image that was on my desktop. This is the puppy dot jpg image. So we have this nice little image of that little puppy. So let's go ahead and exit it. And let's continue. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the image to grayscale. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called gray underscore image, and I'm going to set it equal to cv2 dot cvt color, which I believe that stands for convert color. And then I need to put in the image that I want to convert. So that's img. And I need to give it the the color space so just type cv2 dot color color underscore b g r to gray okay so what this does is it basically converts the bgr image blue green red to gray and let me put back that two there all right so that should work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically 
copy what we have here where we're showing the image and I'm copying it by highlighting it and using control C and then I'm going to paste it using control V and I'm going to change this to new image and then we're going to take that gray image and place it here just to take a look at this new image and let's run this and let's see if we get any errors and we did and I see why actually I can see the error message down below it looks like I did not make this all capitals so it needs to be all capitals and let's run this again okay and now it's telling me um, that there is no uh, color underscore 2 BGR 2 gray so that's because I have that 2 here so let me get rid of that as well and let's run this one more time okay and that worked so now I have these two images one is the original image and this is the new grayscale image so it looks really cool and you can do this with any image so I think that's pretty neat alright but we're not done so let's go ahead and exit this and exit that and let us continue so the next thing that I want to do is I want to invert the image invert the image okay so I'm going to create a variable called inverted underscore gray underscore image um, I guess I put the full name why not and I'm going to set this equal to 255 minus the gray underscore image. And this should do the, the inverting for us. So let's just highlight that, copy it, and then paste that right here to show the image. And let's run this. Okay, and I think that looks pretty cool. So this is the inverted gray image next to the original image okay so again that looks pretty cool to me so let's go ahead and exit that and exit that and continue our program all right so now we have inverted the gray image let us go ahead and blur the image using a gaussian function so by gaussian function all right i'm gonna create a, var a variable called blurred underscore image and set it equal to cv2 dot gaussian blur and I'm going to input the inverted underscore gray image and then I'm going to give it a kernel size so it will be 21 by 21 and then I need to give it a sigma value so the sigma value will be zero and I think that'll do it so let's take that blurred image here copy it and paste it here and take a look all right so I'm gonna go ahead and run this okay and now we can see that the image is blurred on the right here okay so let's go ahead and exit that and exit that all right so now we have our blurred image next let's invert the blurred image so here we're going to invert the blurred image so I'm going to create a variable called inverted underscore blurred underscore image. And I'm going to set this equal to 255 minus the blurred image. And that will invert it for us. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. And let's run this and take a look. Okay. So this is the inverted blurred image on the right. And then, of course, the original image on the left. So let's go ahead and exit this and exit this. And all that looks good. So now it's time to create the pencil sketch image. So here we're going to create the pencil sketch image. Okay. And we're going to do this by performing um, division on these images. So I'm going to create a variable called pencil underscore sketch underscore img and I'm going to set this equal to cv2 dot divide there we go and I'm going to divide the gray image with the inverted blurred image and then I'm going to give it a scale so the scale will be equal to 256.0 
and let's take this variable and copy it and paste it here and let's run this okay and so now we can see the original image on the left and then the new pencil sketched image on the right and we did this in only a few lines of code which I think is amazing it, you can really see the power of Python you know especially when you're doing anything with images I think is great so that's basically it I really hope you all enjoyed this video please leave any questions you have in the comment section if I don't get to them maybe others will uh, please hit that like button and that subscribe button and if you want to become a supporter to this channel I will leave a link to the patreon page in the description below and as always I hope you all enjoyed this video again and I will see you all in the next video.